okay, here's a reality check. There's a gap between what many Australian EV owners want and what's currently available. What owners want is the freedom to choose any V to G V to H charger, the freedom to choose any electricity provider that they like, and the ability to use V to G at whatever level they need, minimum or maximum, anytime they feel like it, as well as the ability to mix and match options from different suppliers and change electricity providers if they want to. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. What's actually available is a bit different. At the moment, there are a few carefully controlled partnerships between specific car manufacturers, big energy retailers, and specific charger models. There are limited trial spots available for Origin and AGL, which I'll explain the details of in a moment. But the important thing to remember is if you participate in their trial, you're locked into their ecosystem for the trial period. Their choice of cars, their choice of charger, and their setup of electricity tariff. It isn't a free-for-all. Okay, let's have a look at the different options available in Australia and as well as overseas to give you an idea of realistic V2G, V2H options in the future. Let's start with Origin Energy. They're launching Australia's first vehicle to grid subscription bundle set to begin trials in 2026. Here's what they're offering. A BYD Addo 3 on subscription, a bi-directional Star Charge V2G Halo Charger, access to Origin Smart Tariff with free home charging, all under 800 bucks a month after tax savings. Obviously, tax savings will depend on your personal situation. So this isn't just about buying a charger and plugging it in. Origin system is closely tied with their virtual power plant system. You simply plug in most days and their tech does the rest. You can't customize and tweak it to how you want to do it. The automated process provides free charging at home for every kilometer you drive up to an estimated 24,000 kilometers per year. According to the Electric Vehicle Council and a st typical Australian driving, half of that, so 12,000 kilometers per year, spends about $500 on electricity with an EV, or five times that, $2,500 on petrol. So with Origin's offer, you could save between $500 and $2,500 annually, which sounds pretty good. Catch. This trial is limited to the first 50 people to participate, 50 households. You're locked into Origin's ecosystem, their car, BYD803, their charger, Star Charge, and their VPP energy tariff. What about AGL though? They've also launched in the same time. They're taking a different approach though with their upcoming V2G V2H trial, which is particularly exciting because they're working with multiple car manufacturers, four of them, excellent. Hyundai, Kia, BYD, and Zika. So two Korean brands, I mean, kind of one because Hyundai owns Kia and controls it and BYD and Zika, which are two Chinese brands of electric cars. So with both of these trials, I forgot to mention Origin and AGL, people who participate won't have their vehicle battery warranty impacted. That's an, a guarantee for participating in this trial. And it addresses one of the key concerns electric car owners have about V2G, V2H technology. AGL's trial involves smart software handling everything automatically. So again, you can't fine tune it to how you want to do it. Their system will charge your EV when electricity prices are low and renewables are plentiful and use that energy to power your home or export surplus back to the grid for credits. Obviously, this assumes your car is at home and unplugged in for both of these trials. If it's away from home for most of the day, you're probably not going to get much benefit from participating in these trials. The key features of the AGL trial are a discounted bi-directional EV charger with installation for the first 50 trial participant homes, bill savings by charging when prices are low and using stored car battery energy when prices are high, earn peak export credits when feeding back energy back to the grid, and you control when you need your car charged and ready by, which is nice. AGL hopes to roll out this proposition to all their customers with EVs, perhaps in a year, based on learnings from this trial, which is pretty interesting. Um, now, 
overseas? What's happening over there? Because they're a bit ahead of us usually with electric car kind of technology and trials and new features. In the UK, a couple of months ago, Octopus Energy and BYD pronounced a power pack bundle. This is a different kind of situation. So instead of owning the car, what's included is a leased BYD Dolphin, a V2G Zaptec Pro Charger. I've mentioned this before. There's a video link in the description where I saw one of them at a trade show and a smart tariff with completely free home charging. The savings for typical drivers are estimated at 620 pounds per year. That's about $1,200 Australian compared to standard electricity tariffs in the UK for electricity. They claim that owners will save a thousand pounds compared to petrol cars. And it's a fully automated system, which does assume that you plug your car in most nights of the week. Benefit of this is that the BYD Dolphin uses an in-vehicle inverter system, meaning that the V2G charger, the Zaptec Pro, is much cheaper, smaller and easier to install, like several thousand dollars cheaper than the DC bidirectional chargers, which are being trialed in Australia at the moment. The Zaptec Pro is an AC one, but the catch with the Zaptec Pro is it has to be used with a car that's certified for use with it because it relies on the in-vehicle inverter to run the bi-directional charging with it. Okay, and last but not least, what about Germany? In Germany, BMW and E.ON have launched Germany's first commercial V2G solution and they claim that it's financially attractive. The offer is a BMW iX3, so not a budget car. This is a premium, sort of more luxury electric car, which supports bi-directional charging capability. Their claim is that customers can earn up to 720 euros annually, about 1,200 Australian dollars, which covers up to 14,000 kilometers of free driving per year. You have to use, use Wallbox professional charger though. In terms of benefits, you earn credits for every hour plugged in, so that's kind of simple. There's no minimum connection time required. Battery life is protected, they say, using intelligent sort of technology and customers retain full control of charging goals. So there are four different trials, two trials in Australia and two kind of more commercial, actually live products in the UK and Germany. But as you can see, there's some commonalities to all of these. They all involve controlled partnerships between specific electric car brands, specific energy providers, and lots of rules about what you'll be able to do and how much you'll be able to benefit. It's not the free for all that people are hoping for. Realistically, the only way I can see for people to get a free for all, do whatever you want, V2G, V2H, is to buy certain particular brands and models of electric cars that are available in Australia now and do particular things with them. Uh, I'll explain this in a new video coming up soon. Catch you later. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.